So you're constantly being chased in dreams. What in the world does that even mean? Well, you've come to the right place, so stay tuned. Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jumoke. Nice to meet you. On this channel, we talk about thin to medium fine natural hair fade, dream interpretation, singleness, and dating. So if any of those interest you, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you can continue to get more amazing content, baby. So getting chased in dreams. What does that mean? Before I continue, I do want to say that context is king. Okay, context is king. Really look at everything else in your dream to really have a solidified, okay, this is what this means. But in general, from what I've experienced, being chased in dreams can represent one of three things. The first thing it can represent is fear and intimidation, especially if the source of the dream is demonic. If it is a demonic in um, essence, it could be the enemy's trying to instill fear and intimidate you spiritually. So sometimes you'll have dreams that's like really dark and oh my gosh, you have all this fear, panic, and this is really what is called a nightmare. If it is a nightmare type of dream, and you just have so much fear and terror in you and there's something that's chasing you that maybe it's a demon, maybe it's something that is just, you know, it could be that the enemy is trying to instill fear and intimidation in you. This should definitely be combated in prayer and spiritual warfare. Next reason you may be getting chased is because either you're not spiritually mature enough or what you're trying to engage in, something you're trying to engage in is not your battle to fight. So what do I mean by that? The Bible says that the righteous are as bold as a lion. Ugh. The Bible says that the wicked flee when no one is pursuing them, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. So you shouldn't always be getting chased in dreams um, because the Bible says that the the sword of the uh, the sword of the spirit the sword of the spirit <laughs> it's in the full armor of God. But you know our word the sword. Like our offensive tool, it's the sword of the spirit. And when you are not really into your word, when you're not really deep into spiritual, in, in your spiritual life, you're not really progressing, that can also make your um, spirit kind of fearful and just like always like, oh my gosh, especially if it's um, something that's a battle in a dream. You're constantly running away, running away, running away, because we should always be running away. Even if we're getting attacked in a dream, you should have something to fight back with. And if you don't and you're just kind of like a bandit ship, <laughs> you know, maybe you should start looking into your spiritual life and say, okay, am I lacking? Am I like lacking my prayer life? Am I lacking in reading my word? Am I not really consistent right now in my walk? It could point to that. Or it could be something that's not your battle to fight. So case in point, if you have a dream that you're about to get attacked, but then a lion comes out of nowhere and like mauls your enemies, you know? In the Bible, we know that Jesus is known as the Lion of Judah. So uh, Jesus could represent him fighting, you know, your battles for you. Lions can also represent, you know, say, because the Bible says that the devil roars, roars around like a roaring roams around like a roaring lion. But in this context, it would be Jesus is fighting your battles for you. Or you can have angels that come and they intercept and they're like, okay, maybe you're trying to fight something, but then you have other people or you have some type of divine assistance. Maybe you just out of nowhere, you just start flying. You know, <laughs> you're like, okay, you're running and then you just take off and you're flying. Like some type of divine, like it, it's not really you and you probably couldn't fight it yourself so that's something it could mean in the natural that okay god may be telling you that hey it's not your battle to fight or you're not spiritually mature enough to engage into the next level that you're in now the last reason why you could be getting chased in dreams what's the last reason is because there's something that you are avoiding okay this might be a soul dream this might be a dream from yourself that there's something spiritually that you are not really focused on. You're really trying to avoid it. And maybe this is something that's a cycle for you, cycle for you, or cycle for you. Um, I had a, a friend came to me with a dream that I've said this before, that she was getting chased by a dinosaur. And this is an old issue that is continuously just a cycle in her life. It's just an old issue that just keeps coming back, coming back, coming back. So you want to check like, okay, 
am I always falling into the same habit of like even like dangerous relationships or am I always just uh, I get lazy I get discouraged like I start something I don't finish you know maybe it's something that you're not really dealing with it at the source and you're just constantly running from the confrontation of what you're avoiding so that is another interpretation of why you're getting chased in dreams but again context is key now that's what being chased in dreams generally mean if you want to learn more about how to interpret your dreams and you're like okay that's great but i have so much more dreams to me <laughs> then definitely do check out my dreams and visions interpretation course starting a new semester in january so if you want to learn more about how to actually have a hands-on experience and for me to really coach you to interpret your dreams one-on-one -on -one, then do check out the link in the description box but i will see all of you guys later bye